Hey what's going on everyone this is iReviews back with another video and this time I have 50 city tweaks compatible with iOS 11.3.1 so I will try to go through these tweaks as quickly as possible not stop on the settings and all that stuff a lot so you can go ahead and watch them in a shorter time so let's get started with the first one forcing picture is a pretty dope tweak it will add picture in picture on your iOS 11.3.1 device. All you have to do while watching a video, just tap this button right here, and now it will detach the video so you will be able to watch it anywhere you want. So you can see the video is right here. You can pause it, you can bring it back right here, or you can close it from there just using this X button. Floaty Dock will bring the iPad style dock to your iPhone. You can see right here, you can have now more icons as well. It will show you right here the recently used apps. So it's pretty awesome. If you go to the settings of this tweak, you can enable it right here. And you can have here the regular dock icons. So you can see you can have up to 10 icons on the dock of your device. And then here you can enable your recent apps as well as suggested apps. And you can set here how many suggested apps you want to see on the dock of your iOS 11.3.1 device. Evanesco, this tweak will make the icons fade away if you're not using your device. If you leave it like this, you can see they will just disappear. It will also actually disappear the dock here, but I have a tweak installed that is not letting it do that, but normally it will disappear completely and you will see just the wallpaper. If you go to settings, you can set here after how many seconds you want the icons on the home screen to disappear. Minimal hood will replace the stock iOS volume hood with this custom one right there on the status bar. It looks pretty pretty cool. If you go to the settings of the tweak, you will have an enable button. Then you can also go ahead and theme. So you have different themes to choose from to apply to the new volume hood. So you have four right here. Just pick any one of them. Quick power mode is very useful. It allows you to easily turn on and off low power mode simply by tapping the battery indicator on the status bar so just tap there you can turn it on or off better shutdown is a tweak that will give you more options under the power down menu so normally all you get on ios is slide to power up but with this tweak installed you will now get three different options so you have the power up you will have a reboot button also a respring button if you need to respring your device of course once you're done here you just tap anywhere to dismiss it smile battery is a pretty cool tweak for the battery indicator instead of showing the battery percentage it will show you a smiley right there and the smiley will change based on the percentage of battery that you have left appcon is a tweak that allows you to set any of your images as the icon of an app. You can see right there the music app has that image as an icon. So you tap on the icon here to go to the edit mode then just tap like this and you can go here replace from photo library and it will take you to your photo library. You can set any picture as the icon of that app. Just choose here, crop it, click save right there and it will be set as the icon. So it's pretty pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and just go ahead and restore the original click right here and then remove right there and you can see it will bring back the old the stock icon basically of the app. 9 folders brings back the iOS 9 style folders to your iOS 11 device. You know on iOS 11 and I believe iOS 10 as well, when you open a folder it will blur the home screen and open the folder right here. But with this tweak installed you can see it will just remove the icons, no blur and it will show you only your wallpaper in the background. You can also enable a dark mode here for the, wall for the folders and it looks pretty cool. Color My CC Modules allows you to customize the control center by coloring the modules of the control center to any color that you like. You just go to the settings of the tweak and pick a color and then all the modules, all the buttons and the controls on the control center will be of that color. App Percent is a pretty cool tweak. It will show you right here the percentage of the download of an app. So for any app that you're downloading from the App Store, it shows you the percentage of the download completed right here. Also, you can enable a notification. So once the app has been downloaded, it will notify you. Status Modifier is a tweak that allows you to modify 
the status bar of your device. As you can see, I can have the date there and I can have the time with the seconds as well. So it's pretty awesome. You have different time formats here to choose from and also using these toggles, you can hide any of these status bar elements from the status bar. All you need to do is just switch them off and then click save to respring your device and those changes will be made. Gadgets, this tweak will make the badges really different. So you can see right here, I have three notifications on the Twitter app. It won't show the badge up here, but it will show me the three here instead of the name of the app. So it looks really, really awesome. You can also show here letters or just numbers. Status bar volume is a pretty cool tweak that will add the volume hood to the status bar of your iOS 11.3.1 device. You won't see that ugly volume hood right here, but now it will be right there on the status bar, just like a volume hood that you see on the YouTube app. So it's pretty awesome. Apps Manager allows you to easily manage the apps that you have installed on your device. So it will show you a list of all the third party apps that you have installed. If you tap on one of them, it will show you right here details about that app. You can also back up the apps data right here. And if you have a backup saved, you can actually restore from here. And you can also wipe the entire the entire application and all of its data by using this button. Sleep Anywhere allows you to easily send your device to sleep by using gestures. You don't have to actually use the power button. Here I have chosen the status bar gesture, tap to sleep. Now all I have to do is just tap on the status bar right there and I can send my device to sleep. So it's as easy as that. You don't need to use the power button anymore. Folder color is a tweak for the folders that allows you to customize them so you can change the color of the title, the color of the icon, the color of the background, anything you want. All of that can be done from here from the settings. You have here folder name, folder application, icon and the background. You just choose color here, tap there and you can pick any color you want. Search Remain Time is a very useful jailbreak app that will show you the remaining time until you will have to re-sign your jailbreak app. So you can see right there. So it shows you an icon on the home screen. You open the icon and there it will show you the days and the hours that you have left until you will have to resign the app. HUD Dismiss is a very simple tweak, but very useful as well. The volume HUD of iOS. It always takes time to disappear and it's really annoying. With this tweak installed, all you have to do is just tap the volume HUD to dismiss it. App Color Close is a tweak that will colorize the X buttons that you use to delete an app, of course, based on the color of that icon. So you can see right here, all the apps have the X button in the color of their icon. Color Banners 2 will make your banners really awesome. It will colorize them. It actually colorizes them based on the color of their icon. So for example, if you get a notification from iMessage that banner will be green and you can also go ahead and choose your own color if you want to have a constant color on all the banners. You can see right here, if I test the banners, you can see right here on the lock screen, it shows the banners and you can see all of them have a different color and the color is based on their icon. Color badges is a tweak that will colorize the badges. As you can see right here, the badge is not red, it's blue. That's the same color as the icon of that app. So it's pretty awesome. Jumping quickly to the settings of this tweak, we have an enable button. Then right here, you can also enable the labels for the board, for the, the badges right here. So you can see it has that white border around the badge. Airify is a really awesome tweak for the volume hood. You can see right there, it will add the volume hood to the status bar. It has a nice animation when it shows and it hides. It's pretty awesome. You can change that color, the color of the background. You can change the position of the volume hood right here. As you can see it right there. It also it gives you a vibration when you turn up or down the volume. It has a lot of options to configure. You, you can really customize it any way you like. Aporio, this is a very useful tweak. When you're charging your device, you can see right there, the second I start charging my device, it will put it on the low power mode so that it will charge faster. This is really, really cool and very useful. If you go to the settings of this tweak, you can also set it to automatically enable at 20% and also you can disable the turn off at 80% that the low power mode turns off 
automatically at 80%, you can disable it right here. Battery Life is a jailbreak app that will show you detailed informations about the battery of your device. So you can see right here, it shows the charge, the capacity, the voltage, the cycles, the temperature of the battery, and you have other info as well if you tap if you swipe right here, it will show you all the time that you have left, the talk time, the 3G browsing time, all that stuff. And if you tap here, it will take you to the settings of the tweak where you can set different options. So for example, you have the discharge options, you can set them right here, you have different formats to choose from. Blurry badges will make the badges blurred. So it will blur them and actually it will add the color of that app's icon. If you jump to the settings, you can choose here the border. So you have pre iOS 7, no border, little border, all that. And you can also choose the color and you can set the tint right here. Breadcrumbs Away allows us to get rid of this text right here that you get when you open a link to Safari from an app. So all you have to do is just swipe on that and you can get rid of that text. Just swipe it like that and that text and the arrow will be gone. Charge Pulse is a simple one for the battery indicator. It will add a slight charging pulse. When you're charging your device, it will add that nice pulse to the battery indicator on the status bar. Cuddling is a tweak for the Cydia app. What it does is that it will allow you to customize the loading hoods on Cydia. So you can see right here, this one is blurred and it's white instead of the stock black one. So you can change between a light and a dark theme. Color status bar allows you to set a background color for the status bar and it will be applied system wide. So on the home screen, lock screen, in the apps, everywhere, you will have this color on the background of your status bar. Just go to settings, just go here and pick any color that you like. Koi SIM is a pretty useful tweak if you have a device without a SIM card on it. You know that iOS always alerts you that you don't have a SIM card and that's really annoying. You can disable those alerts. Also, you can see right there, you can replace the no SIM with no service and you have other stuff here as well. You can also go ahead and show the model of your device as the carrier name, which is pretty awesome. Deep Cove is a tweak for the battery indicator. What it does is that it will remove the numbers here, the percentage of the battery, and that percentage will be replaced with Roman numerals. So it looks really, really awesome. Kind of neat there to have those Roman numerals. It looks pretty awesome. If you know how to read them, you can definitely use this tweak. Delete Forever is a tweak for the Photos app. It allows you to easily delete a photo forever. You know, iOS now keeps your photos on the recently deleted folder so you can recover them. But if you want to delete a photo forever directly from here, you will have an extra button there to delete it forever. Face down. This tweak allows you to lock your device easily simply by putting it face down. Just like that, you can see the device will be locked. F dots allows you to hide the dots on your iOS device. You can hide the dots right here on the home screen. You can as well hide the badges. You can hide the update dots, you know, a, do a blue dot that you get when you update an app. You can do all that from the settings of this tweak. So you have four different dots that you can, you can disable right here using the switches. Flat Safari URL is a tweak for the Safari app. What it does is that it will make this part right here flat. Normally you will see a gray bar right here at the link with this tweak, it will be all white. It will just have a nice flat look. Folder 6 Plus is a pretty cool tweak for the folders. What it does is that it adds the iPhone Plus folder style to your, to your smaller iPhone. So basically here on the iPhone 6, I have a folder style of the iPhone 6 Plus. So you, you will have a 4x4 layout right here on the folder. And you can see on the icon as well, there is a 4x4 layout. Front cam on mirror. You know, on iOS, when you take a picture with the camera app, it has that mirror effect that kind of looks weird when you take a look at a picture, at a selfie that you take. But with this tweak, that effect will be gone. So just install it. You don't need to configure anything. Lithium ion allows you to customize the battery indicator on the status bar. You can see those dots right there. They look pretty cool. So if you jump to the settings of this tweak from here, you can change the theme. So just enable the tweak, go to themes and go here, primary theme. And from here, you will have a bunch of themes to choose from and apply them to the status bar of your device. Most, this tweak allows you to change the color of the cursor. Normally this is blue 
and the highlighted text so when you highlight the text you can see right here it's red instead of blue so with this tweak you can change that to any color that you like no large titles is a simple tweak for ios 11 you know on ios 11 we have those huge titles on most of the stock apps of ios this tweak will remove them and will bring back the little titles no page dots is a simple one what it does is that it removes the dots that you see here on the home screen the dots that indicates how much how many pages you have of apps it will simply remove them and make your device look a little cleaner notification tester is a tweak that allows you to test notifications directly here from the settings so you have lock screen and normal notifications you can see right there and you have the number of notifications that you want to send from here so if i tap here lock screen notifications you can see it will send me all these notifications on the lock screen just if you need to test something you can do it from here safari full url shows you the complete url here on safari normally it shows you just a short url just a part of the the beginning of the url right there but with this tweak installed you will see the complete url here on safari safari plus is a really powerful tweak for the safari app so it will add a lot of features to the safari app if we go to general here you can see we have open a new tab option open in opposite mode option upload any file so you can upload any file to safari then you have here different add-ons so enhanced downloads you have here action add-ons app start app resume you have here like auto close tabs you have a lot of options to configure so you can also customize it you have the color settings right here the top bar you can add a tint color background color it's really powerful i'm not going to go through all of these features right here but it really adds a lot to the safari app simple passcode buttons makes the lock screen of your device look really nice right here you can see you can hide the letters as well as the numbers from the the passcode pad right here it looks really awesome much cleaner like this if you jump to the settings right here you have different styles so you have of course the default then you can hide just let the letters and leave the numbers there or you can basically hide everything spotlight be gone 11 is also a simple tweak all it does is that it will disable the spotlight from the home screen so on the home screen you won't be able to go to the spotlight even if you swipe here in the middle it won't open the spotlight search spring tools this tweak allows you to customize the look of the icons on the home screen so you can change their shape as well you can add shadows to the icons and make them look just like this you can choose between different shapes from the settings of this tweak tap tap flip is a pretty cool tweak it allows you to switch between two different cameras simply by tapping like that just double tap on the screen and you can switch between the front and the rear camera Translucent Cydia is a tweak for the Cydia app. What it does is that it adds this nice translucent look to the Cydia when you're installing something on the install and uninstall page. You can see right here, normally this would be just black and the white labels here, the white text. But with this tweak, it will have this nice translucent look so that is it for this video guys these are 50 studio tweaks that are currently compatible with ios 11.3.1 i hope you guys enjoyed the video also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and leave a like on this video i will see you guys on the next one i will be making a lot of more tweak videos and mo basically themes as well and everything that has to do with jailbreaking so that's pretty much it i will see you guys on the next one